girl, this is your boy, you can miss, but you can call me, and if you're both welcome, welcome back. Okay, guys, I finally watched the Flash movie, I saw it in the theaters, I thought I might as well get my review on it, since I am a Flash fan. Like, share, and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, check me out the doing art, the links to everything is down below. Okay, the movie starts off with Barry Allen, aka The Flash, pretty much like going into like this little breakfast place, he orders some sort of like banana cream something sandwich, Alfred kind of like called him up and told him that there was a situation in Gotham General, pretty much a hospital, where um, like I don't know, some criminals were like, I don't know, like stole some sort of vial or some sort of, I don't know, bioweapon or something, and Batman was on the pursuit. Flash, Barry kind of asked, like, like, who could, um, uh, can Superman just handle it? Like, why the heck is Batman there during the day? And then he, well, then he, like, brought up Diana. Alfred said they're both kind of busy right now. Or, yeah, with Diana, she's a little missing. We don't know where she at. So, and know that Barry was really hungry. So, he pretty much, like, went into the bathroom, changed it to the Flash costume, he was about to zoom out, then some kids wanted to like, take some pictures, you know, typical friend stuff. And then Barry kind of like, like zoom around, like zoom around a little bit, and he pretty much ran up Gotham City. Okay, and knowing that Bruce is still like chasing down the criminals, we got like a cool epic little chase scene. Barry showed up at Gotham General, and Bruce kind of like told him the whole situation about they stole some sort of vile chemicals, and pretty much he had to like do some little be cleaning a little bit, and Alfred noticed that the, well, that the Gotham General of the hospital is about to like collapse, but Barry didn't see nothing, like he looked fine for a minute, then, what was it, then it started to like fall apart and everything else, and a bunch of babies, EBs, and a nurse was falling out of the sky, so pretty much Barry did a slow motion bullet time thing, and he pretty much like zoomed around, well, he was still hungry a little bit, so he kind of like did some slow motion stuff, he kind of like busted a vending machine and like ate, ate a bunch of snacks, which was kind of funny. And he pretty much like speed up and save everybody. The nurse was definitely scared like crazy. Like she was like, like petrified at least. I mean, I can't blame her. But, okay, now we go to the next thing. Pretty much, Batman caught up with the goons that pretty much got the biovirus. She pretty much beat him up, you know, typical Batman stuff. They end up, what was it, they end up crashing the bridge, and Batman only has like one goon that has the thing. Like, she was like, he got his grappling hook, but it's not like deploying or anything. So he pretty much got saved by Wonder Woman, and it kind of got a little embarrassing because she kind of used the last of the troop was on the whole time. And, okay, there was just a lot of funny revealing things about that whole thing. Barry kind of like went to work, his boss was a little pissed off the fact that it, like he's a little late again and he told him that he needs like he got he got potential and he should like don't like close that case about his mom years ago and knowing that he had like his I don't know his I don't know his co-workers I guess two of his co-workers told him to come outside the boss was having like a little like press conference and everything Iris was in the background and Iris is a reporter that Barry used to went to college with. Well, uh, Barry and I just went to college together. They ran each other outside, they had a little conversation. And knowing that Iris is covering um, Henry Allen's appeal, as in Barry's dare. About the, like, the whole Nora Allen murder thing. And what was it? We cut to the next scene where Barry was like about to like, head to his apartment. He saw oh, like a little package left by Bruce, or I don't know. I don't know, it was a package by Wayne Enterprises or something. It contained a flash drive and he plugged it in and tried to like look at the footage and everything else to see like if there's any difference like um, the f about um what was it? His dad getting uh, tomato, I don't know, canned tomatoes or something. Then like uh crap. after that whole thing, he also got a call from his pops from prison because he's still in jail for all that crap and pretty much they had a little conversation about like Barry you need to get a life don't worry about your old man and everything else and while he was like on the phone Barry like like zoop, like went to his got his flash outfit ran to his old house it was another night he pretty much like was having flashbacks 
about like when his mom was still alive, like the, like the only reason like everything happened was because she died and Dirt was still a little sad about it. Then Dirt after that whole thing, he kinda like ran so fast to the point where he was traveling back in time. He traveled like back in time a little bit, like he I don't know. But then he like told like came back to the present time, told Bruce, and Bruce told him, Hey, this is a major responsibility, Barry. And you really need to be careful with this because you can destroy everything. Okay, after that little talk, Iris kind of showed up and she kind of wanted to talk to Barry about like how insensitive she was about the whole like, like your dad killed your mom thing and like things got a little awkward a little bit. And like during that whole conversation, Barry realized that, hmm, you know what, if you can go back in time save his mom, and everything will be alright, and so, there he did, he went back in time, pretty much, like, gone to, like, the, what was it, I don't know, I don't know, some convenience store, got some tomatoes, put in her bag, uh, put in her buggy, and, boom, she changed the timeline, the timeline has changed, but, like, while he was traveling back in time, some sort of mysterious speedster with purple lightning, like kicked him out of some chronos, out of this chronos spear. And he's back in his old neighborhood and Barry like kinda of, like stole some old people clothes and what was it, went to his mom went to like his parents' house and he saw his mom like alive and well aware and he was happy and he and she was like having dinner with them. Barry looked outside the window and noticed that there was another him out there. So he pretty much like went outside, pretty much tried to like hush hush him. And he and young Barry was like very shocked that what was it that Barry kind of went back in time and pretty much pretty much and oh crap young Barry is at least 18 years old he was starting college and everything else and pretty much he like oh crap he was it Barry realized that he was in the past again he realized that like this. And know that the day he went back in time to is the same day he gets powers. So he pretty much had to get his younger self to like the crime lab and make sure that the lightning hit him. I mean, hit both of them, but there was a catch. Barry, Barry lost, I mean, yeah. Current Barry lost his power, powers. Young Barry got his powers. So it's kind of like a, like, I don't know, I guess it's like a. Okay, I don't know. I care. I forgot the movie, but the point is. Pretty much just to flip a room. Young Barry was like, like super excited of like having like his whole superpowers and everything else. And what was it? Barry, well both of Barry's kind of like went out, uh, went to this bar and noticed that there was like a Kryptonian ship in the air. And Barry, well okay, current Barry actually noticed that that was actually Zod. And pretty much he told Younger Barry about like Superman and everybody else. The Justice League, and he very realized he messed up. He pretty much created a world where there was no Justice League, no Superman, or none of the none of the other things. One of his roommate, one of Barry, well, young Barry's roommates, mentioned something about Batman. So they kind of went to Gotham City, and pretty much like found Bruce. But Bruce did not look like the Ben Affleck Bruce. It was the Michael Keaton Bruce. Anywho. Pretty much, like, Bruce was like a drunken alcoholic mess, and, what was it, Barry went to the back cave, trying to, like, find soup, find Clark Kent, and, what was it, he kind of, Barry kind of had, like, a little heart-to-heart -heart talk with Michael Keaton's Batman, Bruce, I don't know, and then, what was it, Michael Keaton's Batman kind of, like, agreed to help him, like, find Superman, well, find Clark, yeah, hello, Clark, Superman, whoever, point is, Superman was located somewhere in Russia, but and they went to Russia. It was like awesome though, like the, the awesome everything, man. I'm telling you. Okay, pretty much they went to like the place where the Superman was being held. They found like where um he was being held at, but it wasn't Superman. Superman wasn't there yet. I mean, he wasn't there. It was just a girl there. And, well, it wasn't just a girl, it was Super, well, yeah, crap, Supergirl, she was very skinny, very pale, 
and like it, well the guys kind of like got like got around there. We got like a little epic fight scene with my two Batman. It was really awesome. And after they after they break, break out of the joint, it kind of like got held up for a minute. Then Supergirl like got some sunlight in her, and boom, she was taking everybody's butt, and it was awesome. Pretty much after that, they went they went to Bruce's mansion. Like Carl kind of like got, Supergirl kind of got some sunlight, flew away, and like tried to find Zod, and turns out. In this open timeline, Super uh, Clark did not survive the the encounter, uh, survive the journey, and turns out Zod needs um Kara's DNA to repopulate Krypton, and then there was like an epic battle, aw awesome, with like both bears like wearing their cool Flash costumes. Barry also got Kara's back, and Barry realized that no matter what he did. This was gonna happen. Carl kind of died, and the only way to solve that is if Barry like took like put the tomato back. But before he did, he kind of like interacted with mom a little bit. The mom did not know that it was Barry, but it was pretty sad though. He went back to present day, which is the day of the appeal, and what was it? It proved that Henry was innocent the full time. Barry, what was it? Barry and Iris were are gonna go on a date and. Bruce kind of showed up, but it wasn't really Michael Keaton's Bruce or Ben Affleck's Bruce. It was the uh, oh crap. I think it was George Clooney. I forgot. I forgot the actor's name. I don't really recognize him that well. But that's pretty much the end of it. And Barry realized that hey, some things you just can't fix, and that was the end of the movie. Okay. Before, okay. Some people say that the Flash movie sucked, but in my opinion, it did good. In my, in my personal opinion, it did good though. Honestly though, they should okay. When they what was it? When they brought the Flash in for the Justice League movie, or well, more like they teased them in Batman vs Superman, they could have just asked Grant Gustin though, because I mean, at the, well, technically the dude's a busy guy. Like once again, I mean the Flash TV series, like I mean, again, they should have gone with Grant Gustin though. I'm just saying like. He would make a better Flash than Ezra Miller. I mean, I don't know, man. Ezra Miller kind of gives me like, kind of like this Tom Holland Spider-Man vibe. I'm gonna be honest, man. Okay, I gotta admit, the suit was awesome. Okay, they were definitely were being a little more faithful to the comics than like the Justice League movie at all. Like, it kind of does. I mean, it, okay, I'm just saying like the what was it the Zack Snyder version of the Flash costume, okay, the Just League version of the costume, it kind of looked more like a Power Rangers suit, you know, like the live action Power Rangers movie, I mean, it did look cool, it looked awesome, it looked like a little more realistic, rather than just like the tight, you know, the tight out, the super really tight outfit, that doesn't make any sense, I mean, it makes sense that it has like a little armor thing to protect him, I'm just saying, okay, that was pretty sad though. And only that, I'm glad that this movie like had it kind of like gave us like a full blown origin story. I, for, like in the first part of the beginning of the movie, I thought we were just like like skipping the whole origin story part. I mean, that was. I'm just saying, like it's just okay. I'm glad they didn't like skip like the whole backstory about like his mom being murdered. But the question is, who killed Barry's mom? Who did it? I mean, in the comics, Zoom, like, Zoom, Reverse Flash, he was the guy responsible for that, though. But the question is, who in this version? Maybe, maybe, like, if they come up with a Flash movie, too, maybe they will probably introduce Reverse Flash in that one. Okay. Don't tell me that, um, what was it? The, um, what was it? The Young Barry or the, I don't know, Purple Lightning Barry? I don't know what the heck to call him. But all I know is he kind of reminds me of Savitar from the CW show, though. Okay, maybe I should... Uh, maybe I should do my whole commentary on the... No, 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 no. Okay, I did call some Easter eggs, a few. Well, the, we heard the like, Danny Elfman score for the Batman theme. The one from, like, Tim Burton, Michael Keaton Batman. Okay, I would kill to have, like, another Tim Burton Batman movie. Tim Burton. 
please direct another Batman movie, man. I'm begging you. Batman. Okay. If it hadn't been for the 1989. Wait. Hmm. That got me thinking. Does that mean like the Michael Keaton Batman movie is technically tied into the Man of Steel? I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's so many questions. I mean, I got so many questions. Again, wait, does that mean that, like, the, what was it, the Michael Keaton Batman timeline is, is, what was it, identical? Oh, no. I'm just saying, like, does it, t wait, so the, uh, the current DCU movies like Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and, wait, Aquaman, does that mean, like, all of, that means all the movies kind of like came off the same timeline as like the night the Michael Keaton Batman. I mean, that is a good question. Okay, go okay. But the opening scene of like the movie, it starts out with a little light, like a bunch of multiple transition, like with the DC logos, like how it changed over the years, and along with the Warner Brothers logo. That was really awesome, though. That was really good, though. Okay. Let's see, what else was a good one? Okay, I like how the fact that, like, Ezra was Flash kind of, like, I don't know, referred to, like, Cyborg as, like, a friendly Terminator. That was, I mean, he kind of, well, technically, I mean, after all, a Terminator is a Cyborg, and that's what Cyborg is, a Cyborg. But again, like, that was awesome, though. The slow motion scene, that was, I mean, it wasn't... I mean, I don't know, compare, I'm just comparing, like, the, like, the, this, the slow-mo scenes with the, I don't know, with the CW version of The Flash. Okay, they both look awesome, they're pretty good, but, mm, that was just, I don't know, man, it's hard to compare the two. I mean, they're all, they're both wicked awesome, though. Okay, I like how they, like, use the, well, was, okay, the CGI work with the time travel sequence. That was pretty, I mean, that was, I mean, the CGI wasn't really that great, but, I mean, I did enjoy it. I mean, it was visually appealing a little bit. And, hmm, let's see. I mean, the comedy was a little, a little funny, though. At least we know, like, how Barry kind of reacted when he first got his powers. I mean, we never actually, I mean, we never really, like, you know. Like, no, like, what it was like for him to have power? We never really got, like, a full-blown flashback of the Flash until now, but point is, that was pretty cool, though. That was awesome. Okay, I like how they met, referenced Jay Garrick with him traveling back in time or traveling to the future or in his alternate reality. And all that, we got, like, like a ref, like, they met, well, okay. They even, like, had, like, a CGI, what was it? What was his name again? I don't know, the dude from the 1970s Superman movie, and along with Supergirl too. that was, oh man, okay, I remember my pops was telling me about, like, him, and him watching, like, the first Superman movie when he was a kid, I mean, I wish I, man, I, man, shout out to that generation, man, they, they grown up with the good stuff, man. Okay, the movie is pretty pretty much like a, a retelling of the Flashpoint storyline. In the comics, Barry went back in time to save his mom, but he ended up like changing everything. Instead of like Bruce, okay, okay, spoiler alert, Bruce didn't like, what was it, did not came in existence in that timeline, in that time, okay, in the comics, Bruce was dead and his dad became Batman. Okay, if you like rewatch the whole thing again, and if you look very closely at the, like, look a little bit at the bat suits, one of them had, like, a shoulder holster and a gun. Then that means, I mean, I mean, it was a great little nod to the fact that, um, what was it, that there was, I don't know, it kind of looked like a little nod to, like, the Flashpoint comics, because in the Flashpoint comics, what was it, Bruce's dad became Batman, and that Batman had guns. And that was pretty cool. You know that we saw like a 1990s Batman Iron Man suit. I, okay, I cannot. I don't know the Batman suit, whatever it is. That was pretty good though. Again, I mean they were a little more faithful to the. I mean it wasn't as faithful to the source material because again it brought off the Flashpoint storyline, which is pretty cool. I mean it was still pretty good though. 
one thing I liked about this is, I mean, one of the things I liked in the Flash movie, I mean, there's the fact that they use color symbolism. When Barry traveled back in time the first time, like, what was it, went back in time, put the tomato soup, the whole thing was orange and in bright color. But when he went back in time, everything, like, changed to, like, dark blue. And in case you don't, like, know your, I mean, I am an artist after all. And I know a little bit about my color symbolism. One of the lighter colors means, like, a kind of conveys, like, into, like, a happy emotion. While darker colors, like, blue, purple, green, they kind of sometimes have, like, I don't know, like, a sad or depressed. I'm just saying, like, when Barry traveled the first time, he was happy. And when he traveled back again, he was sad because he had to, like, pretty much say goodbye to his mom again. I mean, it kind of, it kind of did remind me of, I'm just saying, like, the whole scene kind of touched my heart a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. It kind of reminds me of that friend that I lost a long time ago. And trust me, I would do anything to get my old pal back, but I know that will never happen. But it reminds me to, hey, move on. And I know my old pal of mine, I know he would be proud of me, even though... Even regardless, I know he'd be happy for me and everything else, man. If he knew, like, what I'm doing now in today's time, I know he would be. Yeah, yeah, getting too sentimental. Alright, time for me to write the movie. Let's see. On the 1 10 scale, Let's see, fact in the comedy, the visual effects, the cameos, the easter eggs, and the references. Hmm. And only that the faithfulness to the comics, well, more like the, I don't know, the Ezra Miller suit. Okay, the new Ezra Miller suit, my bad. Hmm. And the slow motion sequence. I would give it, let's see, multiply by 10, probably subtract, and up that a little bit. But, let's see, times two, divide by, by three, let's see, hmm, hmm. All right, on a one of 10 scale, I'll give the Flash a solid seven and a half. I enjoyed the film though. I know a lot of people say it sucked, but I don't care, man. This is my last opinion. All right, I have my phone. Like, share, and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, check me out on DeviantArt, the links to everything is down below. M3Boy, out.